everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. I am making a masculine soap. Pretty excited, most all of my fragrances have come in for holidays. And um, finally getting started on them. So I should have a lot of videos coming up soon. I post once a week, so by the time you see some of them, um, you know, it might be, they might already be cured and on the site. So just keep an eye on my Facebook group and on the website if you see something that you need to have. It may already be there. Anyway, so this is um, Barbershop. This is a masculine fragrance. We are expanding our masculine line. Uh, this is one of those. So we're going to do... Oops. found my video camera and the cords for my video camera. So playing with positioning here a little bit, but the girls help me pick out the design. This is just going to be a small batch, and we're going to kind of mimic a um, barbershop bowl. Okay, you think that's good for the colors? Yeah. The main part of the batch is going to be white. Oh, I forgot my cream. Cream is kind of important. I'll go ahead and stick blend this. fragrances are kind of tricky for me because I like fruity smells. I like um, really sweet smells. I like the warm fruity smells. Um, the masculine ones aren't my favorite. The florals aren't typically my favorite. But um, so I challenged myself to really examine masculine fragrances and I kind of went all over the place, lots of different suppliers. And I'm really pleased with what I got. A couple of them are kind of light. This one, to me, I really, really like. I made this in a shaving soap, and it was very nice. And it held its fragrance, held its scent, but it's it's light. So I just want to see how it does in um, the cold process soap before I commit to making a big batch. We're just drop swirl, yeah? Yeah. Lots of air bubbles coming down in there. It's um, really, really fluid. Um, I spent some time yesterday or day before, I can't remember, the other day, master batching over 100 pounds of oils. I wanted to get all of my oils prepped for all of the holiday soaps I need to do because that seems to be the one thing I just I don't have time for is all that prep work. So I filled up um, two 50 pound buckets full of oil. So I should be able to hopefully hammer a bunch out. And I have lye ready for three more batches today. 
getting kind of late in the day. We had some things that we did this morning and they took longer than planned because we spent most of the morning in traffic and the afternoon. The traffic was awful today. It's so running a little behind, but that's okay. I'm soapy now. And then we have a big event this weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. And I have a three day long show. And it's supposed to be 100 degrees all three days. Um, I'm trying to be excited about that, and I'm just really not. <laughs> I like the heat, but 100 degrees sitting outside for a show is, um, it's a lot. It takes a lot out of you, and I have uh, fibromyalgia, so shows really wear me out anyway. So I'm, not, I'm really not looking forward to it. And it was in the 70s here last week, so it's, you know, the back and forth thing is really hard to adjust to. We thought summer was done, and then all of a sudden, it decided to come back for a bit. This should be great for people who are camping this weekend, but I'm also concerned it's going to keep people away from the show. So, hope not. I'm going to be bringing my shaving soap with me tomorrow. It'll be the first time I have released it to the public. And I just have one batch that's ready, and it's Cool Citrus Basil. I went with a unisex scent. Okay, I'm going to smack this down. I just saved white for the top. I don't know that that's even ready for me to... I've been having a lot of problems with my soaps um, thickening really, really fast, and I haven't been able to, to work with them, and I've reduced the water and all sorts of things, and then it, I finally figured it out. So, because even fragrances that normally played nice were giving me problems, and uh, I just fell off my game, but I, I figured out what was going on, and yeah, so far so good. This is almost too loose, but I'm not complaining. It's a nice change from having to race trying to get soap into the mold without a mess. And I'm back at my full water discount. I, I do a pretty steep discount. This will be ready to cut early tomorrow, but I won't be here. Hopefully I have the energy to cut it tomorrow night. We'll see. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that too much. I've got some mica to drizzle on the top. I hope this didn't turn purple. It kind of looks in the corner here like it's... Uh, a little purpley. I didn't save a whole lot of mica. Oh, there we go. For a second I thought it had too much, and then I thought I don't have enough. But I think I'm going to have just the right amount. I have a little bit more blue than the red, I think. Nope, because I'm out of that. make a nice little mess. Alright, give it a swirl. Okay, so here is Barbershop. Don't go anywhere, I'll have the cutting on the back half of this. Here is Barbershop. Out of the mold. I hope you can see this. I can't tell how the lighting is. Uh, this smells very nice. It didn't lighten up at all. Uh, I think I might go ahead and do this one in a big 
batch. I'll do this one in a big batch next time. Sample pieces. So it didn't muddle, which is good. Um, I thought last night when I was checking on it that there was some purple in the top, but I am not seeing that. It seems like it's pretty well defined. Okay, and this is the last piece. So this Alright, so here's all of Barbershop. I'm going to be editing this like crazy because this is like take 17. Um, I've been in the sun all day today, 100 degree temperatures and apparently my brain was cooked. But um, this was Barbershop. It smells very nice. And this will be ready uh, about October 2017 and available on my website, StargazerLuxuries.com. If you liked this, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.